Hello kids, good to see you again. Look what I have got. A story of no bears. Big bear, little bear. Let's start the story. One bright cold morning, little bear helped mother bear scoop snow out of their den. This will make more room for you to play, said mother bear. You are getting bigger now. I want to be as big as you when I am grown up, said little bear. He stretched up his arms and made himself as big as he could. Do you want to see? Here. Then what happened? Mother bear stretched to the sky. You'll have to eat and eat to be as big as I am, she said. When I'm big, I'll wrestle you in the snow, said little bear. Wrestling in the snow was his favorite game. See, he loved to wrestle in the snow. What is he doing right now? You are not big enough to wrestle me yet, said Mother Bear laughing. <laughs> she rolled Little Bear over and over in the soft snow and Little Bear giggled. <laughs> little Bear shook the snow from his fur. When I am grown up, I want to run as fast as you can. Mommy, you, you'll have to practice if you want to be as fast as I am, said Mother Bear. This bear wants to run really fast. Okay. Little bear darted away and ran as fast as he could. But his mother soon caught up with him. Run faster, she called. I can't, said little bear. I'm not grown up yet. Look. Maybe if he practice more, he can become faster than her mother. Oh my goodness, I'll show you what it's like to be grown up, said Mother Bear. Climb onto my shoulders. When Little Bear stood on his mother's shoulders, he could see to the end of the world. And when he reached up his hands, he could nearly touch the sky. Now you are big, said Mother Bear. You know how did she do it? Wow. This bear feels like he's on the top of the world. Let's run, cried Mother Bear and she ran faster and faster. Little Bear felt the wind rushing against his face and blowing his ears back. This is how I'll run when I'm grown up, said he shouted. He was all ready to run faster and faster. Wow! Can you see how happy and motivated this little bear is? Just because his mother encouraged him. Yes. Suddenly, Mother Bear leapt into the leaped into the air. Little Bear saw the world rushing under him. I'm flying like a bird, he shouted. Then he saw where they were going to land. 
Hmm, where are they going to land? Splash! Mother bear dived into the cold water and swam along with little bear on her back. This is how you will swim when you are grown up, she said. Mm -hmm. Wow! So he learned to let wrestle, he learned to run fast and now he is learning how to swim. Then what happens? Little bear watches mother carefully so he would know what to do next time. I'll soon be able to swim like that, he told himself. Soon mother bear climbed out of the water with little bear still clinging tightly to her back. Will I really be as big as you when I'm grown up? asked little bear. Yes, you will, said his mother. But I don't want you to grow up yet. Why not? asked little bear. Can you guess why did her mother say like that? Why didn't she want him to grow up quickly? Yes. You won't be able to sit on my shoulders when you are grown up, said Mother Bear, as she carried Little Bear back to their snow den. She was she used to be so happy when her little son used to climb her shoulders. Wow. Little bear was tired after wrestling, running, flying and swimming. You can still cuddle me when I'm grown up. He said sleepily, but mommy, he whispered, I don't want to grow up yet. That's good, said mother bear, holding him close. Look, this is the way she used to cuddle his son. You are perfect, just the way you are. Little Bear snuggled into his mother's soft fur and they went to sleep together in their cozy den in the snow. This is the end of the story. I hope you like this story by the really famous author David Bedford and Jane Chapman. Yes, Miss Isha forgot to tell you the author before. I'll see you next time with another interesting story. Till then, take care.